Hello everyone, and welcome to the 12th devlog of my sandbox management game, Mini Golf Tycoon. I'm very sorry for the long wait, but I took a three week long break and have just been enjoying myself playing some games and finishing up the mountain bike season. Before we get started, I do want to note a few things. First off, I have changed the software I'm using to edit these videos from Blender to DaVinci Resolve, so the quality should be much higher. Also, I recently got my first video to over 1,000 views. I'm so glad this tutorial is helping people make their games, and I will be continuing that series very soon. Also, the song you are currently hearing is the latest song added to the game. I switched the DAW I'm using from Cakewalk to Waveform, which is significantly better, so expect more music soon. But I think that's enough rambling, let's get on with the update. The AI I made in the last video still had many problems, so I wanted to improve it. I spent about a week trying to make the first system, then took my break, then came back and figured out a much better and more efficient system to fix it, which only took about two days to make. Let's go over the first thing I tried. I realized that a lot of the issues with the AI was the height difference in the course, so I started with an AI solution that would use pure height data to try and figure out a path, which failed miserably because I could only figure out half of it. I started with getting a 2D list of points of the course using Raycast that scanned every point of the mesh and recorded the height of that point. Then I figured out a way to draw this height data to a texture to make sure it was all working. But after I got all this data, I needed to figure out how to make a path between the points. I was thinking about using some sort of A star, but I couldn't think of a way to properly implement that, so I took a break, and when I came back, the idea struck me to change the system I already had. Remember this reflection system? I just changed a little bit of code, and it works a lot better. The old system just checks to see if the raycast hit the hole, and if it did, it saved the shot, as well as how many bounces it took. Now, it, if it sees the hole, it'll instantly fire instead of running through all the shots for a little bit of optimization. But the other big change to the AI that also mostly fixes the elevation problem is that every single raycast hit is saved, but instead of the number of bounces, it saves how far the hit was from the hole. This works so much better. I did have a hard time figuring out how much power to give the shots, but I think I got it working in the end. That's pretty much all for the AI, so let's move on to some minor changes I made. I fixed the courses in the main menu, not showing the actual course part of it. It turns out I had forgotten to update the mesh in the prefab, so that was a pretty easy fix. Then I added some close buttons to the new game and load game screens because that was kind of necessary. And when you're building a hole, you can scale the nodes to scale the course. It doesn't look perfect, but it works well enough. I think that's all I've done these past few weeks. I know it isn't much for the amount of time I was away, but I hope in the next devlog I'll have a lot more to show, as well as make another tutorial. I plan on going back to the Discord polls for features to be added, so be sure to click the link in the description to join. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.